Hello everyone. I just wanted to make a video in regards to the recent backlash I've noticed Tesla have been getting uh, all over social media in regards to their choice to completely exclude any Tesla that has an Intel Atom processor uh, with the new UI, the new user interface that's coming out in the, the version 12 spring update. So I wanted to make a video about that and uh, go over the AMD Ryzen and the Intel Atom specifications uh, as we go through this video. Um, I had the opportunity, I was given the opportunity to, I'm sitting right now in a 2023 Tesla Model Y, which has the AMD Ryzen chip, but I was able to get my hands on a Tesla Model Y with an Intel Atom processor as well. And I was able to video a benchmark um, using Jetstream 2.1. I'll actually, I'll just put that up right now. Okay, there, there you go. So this is Jetstream 2.1. It's a web-based benchmarking uh, system. So I'm just gonna let that play out because uh, I plan on going through the specifications of the Intel Atom and the AMD Ryzen chip as this video plays. But before we go too much into it, as this just kind of plays into the background, I, like, spoiler alert, I think... I'm pretty sure in the near future, the, the Intel Atom Teslas will will get the new UI, maybe a watered down version of it, or maybe Tesla just needs time to optimize it for the Intel Atom because it is it is a fair amount um, less powerful, which you'll, you'll I'll go over in this video. Um, but that's that's kind of my, my my thoughts on that kind of what I foresee going to happen. It's probably going to Intel Atom. Like fear not, I think if you're going to get it eventually. At, like I said, either watered down version or or maybe um, it's probably just needs to be optimized. To be honest, you might just get a full fledged version in a, in a little bit. But let's jump into some specifications. So we'll start off with the Intel Atom. The Intel Atom is an X5 TAC E8000 with a Celeron N3000 integrated GPU. Um, actually, I should probably tell you this. I, I'm going to primarily focus right now on the integrated GPUs of the AMD Ryzen and the Intel Atom because the, the benchmark you guys are watching right now primarily just looks at the CPU because uh, JavaScript um, is basically just rendered uh, by the CPU. Um, so right now I'm just going to discuss the integrated GPU. And, uh, oh, it's probably good to say that anytime I discuss the AMD Ryzen chip, I'm not talking about the any te the Tesla Model S or the X, because they have dedicated GPUs. The same CPU, uh, the same Ryzen CPU, but a dedicated GPU, which is very different. Uh, anyways, I digress. So the Celeron N3000 uh, integrated GPU of the Intel Atom, it's capable of 126 gigaflops. That's about half the power of the Xbox 360, uh, but six times more powerful than the original Xbox. So definitely still more than capable. And then moving over to the the Ryzen Atom, the Intel, the AMD Ryzen, that uses a Vega uh, GPU. Um, actually, the closest thing I could find uh, on the AMD Ryzen because the Teslas seem to use a custom build. So the closest thing I could find to their custom build on the AMD website was the, the V1000. Uh, so the V1000, uh, again, uses a uh, integrated GPU called Vega. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, V-E-G-A. And that appears to be capable of 3.7 teraflops. So not gigaflops, 3.7 teraflops. Um, so that would put it on par with a PS4 Pro. Uh, a PS4 Pro is a little over four teraflops, but I, I think the the AMD Ryzen might be around four teraflops with inside of the Tesla. And I say that because the V1000 that I found on the AMD website is based off a Zen 1 architecture, and the AMD Ryzen chip inside of the Tesla, the custom build, is a Zen Plus. So it, it, it might be a little bit more powerful. Um, but we'll just go with the 3.7 teraflops for now, and that puts it roughly in line with the PS4 Pro, um, which is obviously pretty significant uh, over an X half the power of an Xbox 360. Uh, but doing a quick math, uh, 3.7 teraflops uh, versus 126 gigaflops, the integrated GPU of the AMD Ryzen appears to be 30 times more powerful than the than the Intel Atom. So. Um, oh, okay. Looks like the 
yeah, it looks like it's about ending the benchmark. So let me go over the benchmark details now. So now we're going to touch base on the CPU. The Intel Atom uh, CPU is 1.04 gigahertz, and the AMD Ryzen is 3.8 gigahertz, which is roughly in line with the stats you're seeing there. Uh, the difference is about 3.7, I think. Uh, the AMD scored about 3.7 times better, 3.6, 3.7. And that's that's in line with the uh, the GPU uh, power the CPU power difference. So, um, anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, oh, one last thing, as you guys saw in there, that three times the speed the Intel Atom. I, I had to speed that uh, video clip up three times. It took a little over eleven minutes for the Jetstream two point one to finish its its benchmarking on the Intel Atom, and then the. Uh, AMD Ryzen, it was uh, about three minutes and 15 seconds, give or take. Uh, uh, so a lot faster for it to even complete the benchmark. But um, actually, you know what? That, that kind of makes sense. If we look at like 11, almost 12 minutes, a little over three minutes, like I said, it's three and a half to four times more powerful the CPU. So that actually, that works out as well. But anyways, again, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any other questions or me to do any more tests. But I appreciate you guys, um, again, checking out the video. And uh, if you enjoy it, share it and uh, subscribe if you'd like. And I'll see you guys next time.